Hey guys, um, team session here. Uh, as we all know, Sons on Columbus is coming up, and with Starter Stover Drive going to be illegal, I figured I would talk about a couple decks that I might see, well, I guess not just me, but everyone will see as possibilities or see at the jump themselves. And a lot of it's probably going to get shot down. Um, Stardust Overdrive brought a lot of support for Ritual Monsters, um, brought some support for Light Swarms, and some other various decks. Um, Fish, I see as a possibility now. Um, Moray of Greed, not much better than Glider Beast for Spite. I mean, it's actually kind of worse since you can't search it with anything like you can with, um, with the quest, pull it back to your hand and shit. But it still speeds up the deck, and so, you know it just get, it gets like that. Um, I think that has a lot of potential, but I think that if anyone's gonna play fish at the jump, please use Barbaros. I'm pretty much begging you here. You're probably wondering why, and it's because tribute three monsters off of Cold Can's effect. If you already have Colocanth out, you discard, you pull out more fish, you can still tribute those monsters off for Barbaros. And if you tribute off all three, well, there goes all your opponent's cards on the field. I don't see what's so bad about that. Fishboard Blaster, you can special summon back from the graveyard by discarding one card. Um, another thing about Colocanth is, it negates the effects of the monster it summons while it's on the field. Fishboard Blaster, if I recall, can only be used in a Synchro Summon with another fish type. Uh, whatever, don't pay attention to that. It's just me getting an email. For God knows what. Um, but as I was saying, Fish Board Blaster gets its effect negated, so does uh, Royal Swampy. I don't think Royal Swamp. I think he does have to be with like more water monsters or something. They both have to be with certain cards, and Colocanth negates that. Now, the deck's more than likely not going to be, you know, a bitch about that because it's all fish. There's no biggie about that. But, uh, I think that with its Synchro Summon abilities now and more speed, fish may have a chance. Um, people, I'm begging you here again. Don't run Dark Sword decks. I'm literally begging you here. Please do not run Dark Sword decks. People might think it's a good idea. It is a good card. But is it really worth its summoning requirement? Not so much. You have to somehow dump uh, a Dark and a Wind to the graveyard to special summon it from your hand. You'd think that wouldn't be so hard. What good wind monsters do we have? Stratos, Ryza. I'm finding myself having, you know, a blank here. I really don't think of, I can't think of anything else outside of that besides certain synchro monsters like Stardust. Um, so Morg is going to be really, really hard to play because there's really no good wind monsters to use. Um, so I would highly suggest not trying to use some more the jump. I know a lot of you might try that, and it's just stupid. It's not doing well in Japan. And it's not going to do well here. Sorry to let you guys know, but any of you that have traded out the ass for a dark Samorg, I'm sorry. You might want to turn around and just trade it off to someone who's an idiot. Um, the other decks that got support are Rituals and Fortune Ladies. Rituals, I'm not entirely sure on. They probably, they could do well, they could not. It kind of depends. Um, the only good ones that come to my mind are Sushi Lane, The Awakened for normal based ritual decks, which can't really play all that well with Adventures of Art at 1. Um, the others would be Relinquished and Reshef and Dark Bean. There are a few others that I probably can't think of right now, but they're the main ones that come to mind. Um, Reshef can take control of a monster by discarding a spell. That's not terrible. 
and relinquish can absorb a monster and gain all of its attack points. That's pretty damn good, considering you can take any synchro monster they have out and take all of its attack points. Plus, if it would be destroyed, you can destroy the synchro monster or whatever you absorb instead. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure about rituals. They might do well, they might not. I don't think they're going to see top 16 at this jump, so don't get your hopes up. So yeah. The only thing I think out of Star Silver Drive that we've got support for that will do any good at the jump is Fortune Leads. People have been complaining left and right on Pojo that the deck's not going to do jack, or people are overhyping the deck. Well, even though in Japan people aren't winning, or I should say quote-unquote winning with Fortune Leads, it doesn't mean that they're not good. In Japan, more than likely, they're mostly using light swords and, you know, dark arm decks and shit. They'd much rather just use cooler cards. Fortunately, these are actually really, really kick-ass cards. Um, I have an incomplete deck for them right now, and they are actually really good. I mean, I've managed to pull off two to three Fortune Lady Water in one single turn and drew six cards off of just them alone. I don't have Fortune's Future either, so that's kind of a lot of draw power for a deck like that. So, um, Fortune Ladies are probably the one deck that I think will top or even get close to it. I know for a fact we're going to see probably one or two future matches including some of the decks that I've discussed, as well as others that people are going to try. Um, I really would like to not see a deck that we saw last Shonen Jump win. I have seen so many complaints about the deck supposedly not being Twilight because it only runs a few Dark Monsters. This is true. In my eyes, it's mostly a Light Sworn deck, so... I guess Slice Ones have technically won a jump. That's just my opinion, though. Um, there are a few other decks like these zombies, uh, Destiny Hero based zombie deck, um, and the obvious ones, Slice Ones, White Turbo, Regular Black Wings, and maybe some Hopeless Dragon decks here and there. They're what I'm s or expecting to see at the Shonen Jump. We may see a uh, Skill Drain Oppression deck too as well because that's going to be pretty pretty damn big to stop everything that people are going to be using um so yeah if you ever want to like ask for like advice with decks or it i uh, i guess i'm actually really good with deck building and stuff so you can ask me for that i get it all the time to be honest with you um that's part of the reason why i put up decks on my blog so, uh, but yeah, I can give you examples of some of these decks if you don't know, like, what their deck list might be. Um, if you want me to give you a deck list, just ask or whatever, I don't care. I'm just doing this video because I'm bored. And, you know, there's nothing better to do until my mom gets home with the mail. So, yeah, if I have any mail. Um, I'm going to probably try and get a new deck video up soon. I have a whole bunch of deck stuff in the mail, as I've said in my previous videos. Um, I might do frogs next. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but, yeah, expect a deck video up soon. Well, not soon, soon, but whenever I get all my shit in. So, uh, yeah, subscribe, comment, bitch, whine, complain, um... Whatever. I really don't care. I'm just bored. So, hate me for this video if you want. I really just don't give a shit. Um, again, subscribe and all that. So, yeah. Um, peace, YouTube.